Hey guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, as the title of this video says, I am going to supercharge the Starlet. Now, I didn't want to go down the turbo road. Uh, I know a lot of people are putting turbos on the car and that seems to be the way to go uh, to get power out of them, but I wanted to do something a little different. So I've decided to go down the supercharger route. Uh, so in this video, we're going to do a bit of a walk around on the car, explain what the plans are for the car. Uh, shortly, we are sending the car off for panel and paint, which is very exciting. And uh, so in this video, just to walk around, like I said, have a look at the car itself, um, go through what I'm planning for the car, interior, body, engine, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, guys, so if you'd like to follow on and see what's happening with the uh, with the supercharging, the style, and all the rest of it, please hit that subscribe button. That would be absolutely fantastic. Anyway, guys, enough out of me. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, we're going to do a walk around on the Starlet. Now, it's a bit windy here today, so hopefully uh, there's not too much wind noise being picked up by the microphone. But, um, look, the main concerns is, well, it's not a concern. It's just all the little uh, niggly things that are wrong with the car. The paint's just chalky. You know, you can see those dints and scratches there. The hood's bowed a little bit after hitting a kangaroo, which you can see over this side a little bit. You can see how that so that side of the hood is sitting up. That needs to get massaged out. Um, the bumper is all broken after hitting uh, three different kangaroos. So whether they can uh, weld that or they just go ahead and replace it is another story. Um, apart from that, the hood's pretty good. Probably some minor hail dints in it. Uh, this cowling here near the windscreen, that will be resprayed. The wiper arms are going to be cleaned and painted. Um, these uh, mirrors, these are going to be painted white. That part will remain black. Uh, the indicators, I oh, don't know whether I'm going to go orange or clear. I don't know yet. I'll work that out. I'm considering putting a pinstripe down the body line. Same colour as the new rims, which we'll get to later. Uh, there's a slight little dint there in the door that needs to be cleaned up and also there's a bit of a, a dint there in that guard along that body line there that needs to be cleaned up as well so apart from that that's that side <laughs> you want to say hello do you your cheeky rat bag all right now the roof isn't too bad probably some minor hail uh, dints but the paint is very thin as with the hood you'll see that on the hood the paint is very, very thin from a previous spray job, whatever the case may be. It may have had a little dingle in the front. These little weather strips up here, or whatever you want to call them, they're going to be replaced. Yeah, mate. All right, mate, we'll look later. Uh, the rear bumper's in good nick. Not happy with the tail lights. I will have to try and source another set of rear tail lights, ones that aren't uh, cracked and split like that. Uh, the car's going to be debadged. All the all the badges and stickers, all the badges and stickers are going to be removed. Rear wiper, wiper arm, sorry, is going to be removed and painted. Uh, tailgate is coming off. This side's not too bad. Probably just a couple of lining up issues there on the bumper. But this side's pretty good. No major hassles. I'm not going to paint. This the same the handles is the same color as the car they'll remain black um, so all the doors are coming off okay mate go inside all right slight interruption there but we're back all right so all the doors are coming off all the door jams are going to be resprayed now at this stage I'm going clear over base not the original um, I think this is just like a base coat I'm not a paint expert I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments. But um, all the door jams are getting redone. Uh, all the doors are all around the doors. You can see I've got scratches there and chips along here. All need to be cleaned up. Sick of them. All down this edge of the door as well. All right, so, that, so that's what's going to happen there. All the doors are coming off. Guards are coming off. Hood's coming off. Let's take a look at the boot. So up here, I've got all this surface rust up here. All that needs to be cleaned up, so all, everything's coming off, all being painted. There's no rust in any of the 
Um, this panel along here, I'll get all that cleaned up and painted. So all that looks pretty good around the uh, around the hinges and the um, where the struts are. Nothing structural there. That'll all clean up. Okay, so that's all good. And like I said, coming off total clean up and paint. Let's take a look under the hood. Now the engine bay is not going to be painted. It's as simple as that. I'm leaving the engine bay as is at this stage. So the guards will come off, they'll be painted. As I mentioned before, that cowling will come off, that'll be painted. Um, I do have a strut bar, obviously, which will run from there to there. That's going to be painted the same colour at the same time uh, as the car, so that will be nice white. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot of work to be done under the engine bay. So that's pretty much where we're at uh, with body-wise. Um, that headlight will be replaced. Courtesy of a kangaroo, thank you. That's all busted. Indicator lens is busted. I've got replacement uh, ones for those. So that's all good. Um, this support panel here, that won't be painted at this stage. That'll remain as is. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the hood will come off and get painted both sides. All the stickers removed, all that kind of thing. So that will go back on looking nice under the hood. So that'll be good. So that's pretty much where we stand body-wise. Uh, the windscreen will come out. The windscreen is damaged. I've got a nasty little chip there and a nice big crack running down the outside there from the corner. So that this is all coming out. This will be replaced. So that's pretty much where we're at in regards to getting the body done. New tyres, new rims. I've got the rims sitting inside. I'll do another video on those with the tyres. But the paint's just old, it's chalky. And you know what? I just want it looking better. All right, so let's take a look at the engine bay. Now, obviously there's a lot of work to be done in the engine bay as we progress and get the supercharger fitted. Uh, custom bracket needs to be built. Uh, we can either mount the supercharger down the bottom and, and just move the AC compressor, just remove aircon altogether. Or we can mount the uh, supercharger up the top here. I'm yet to make up my mind on that one. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I have a, an inlet manifold off, off a 5E FE engine. That's got the bigger throttle body. Uh, all the intercooler setup will be going in. Uh, cooling line for the um, supercharger oil. All that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, and a lot of neatening up of hoses and wires and stuff like that. We're not, we're not worried about doing that stuff yet. We're going to worry about that once all the heavy um, heavy lifting is being done at that time. That's when we'll worry about uh, rerouting stuff and cleaning up the engine bay. This engine will be coming out. This engine is no good. Um, I accidentally damaged that, uh, which I may do in a separate video, just so people don't do what I did. Uh, simple as that. Now, next job is the battery is going to be relocated. This is all going. Battery is going. It's being replaced with a uh, lithium battery which is designed for race cars so it's very small very lightweight and that's going to be uh, relocated to the boot area now all these trims will need to come out I've got that one off already we ran some um, some electrical cables for fuel pump and all that kind of bizzo um, these will be coming off they'll be clean they'll be probably painted when I get around to doing the interior uh, the battery is going to be re relocated into one of these divots here at the back. A false floor is going in right through the back here. So it'll be all nice and flat. Uh, the relocation of the battery will be hidden. It'll all be nice and neat. Um, I suppose we should take a look at the interior because that will be getting done. Not straight away. All this is going to take time. This is not cheap. Uh, you cannot get carpets for these anymore. No one does reproduction carpets. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do in regards to that. There's different ways you can go. Seats will come out. They'll be re-trimmed in something completely different. And I'll be getting new door trims made up. Um, I'm yet to decide on the design of the door trims and fabrics and everything for the seats. Uh, but it'll be something that matches the, the grey interior. I'm keeping these. I'm not changing these. That colour just follows, just flows through to what's on the dash. 
So that, that part of me, that will remain the same. Um, as you know, I've got the TRD um, gear knob. I'll be getting a Momo steering wheel to replace um, that one there. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. The false floor, everything being cleaned up in the back. Sorry, everything being cleaned up in the back and painted nice and grey, so it looks good. Um, so that's pretty much where we're at in regards to all of that. Um, yeah, so hopefully paint, panel and paint will be, the car will be sent off in probably the next, I'd say two to four weeks. I've got one quote already. I'm chasing two more quotes. And then once I've got those two quotes organized, I'll make my decision on which way I go uh, as to who is going to be doing the job and obviously how much that is going to cost. Anyway, guys, enough out of me. I hope you like this video. Yeah, like, share, subscribe, do all the good stuff. If you want to see this Starlet get uh, supercharged, you're interested in following that, please subscribe to the channel. Um, please like this video and stay tuned. Um, I will be doing a uh, video on the exhaust system. I've just recently had a complete custom exhaust done. Uh, sounds awesome. Uh, really, really happy with it. And um, so, yeah, we'll be getting into that one in more detail. Anyway, guys, enough out of me. Subscribe, like, share, do all the good stuff, and I'll see you on the next one.